Hello everyone and welcome to our universe. Today will be all about the solar system. So this is a new series I'm starting on this channel. And basically it's going to take the main types of things in our universe, giving you general questions and simple answers to some of the most complex things in the universe. So today we'll be talking about the solar system. So we'll be asking questions like, what is the solar system? We'll be talking about things like the spin of the planets and the largest moons and many more things. So let's jump right in and talk all about the solar system. So what exactly is the solar system? The solar system is the sun and everything that orbits around it. It includes the planets and their moons, and as well as millions, if not billions, of asteroids and comets. These objects are all held in orbit around the sun, by the sun's strong gravitational pull. So our solar system has eight planets in orbit around the sun. In order from distance from the sun, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But Pluto was considered the furthest planet out, but it has now been debunked and classified as a dwarf planet. Additional dwarf planets have also been discovered farther out from the Sun than Pluto, and some asteroids are also dwarf planets. So why are all the planets round? All of the planets are round because of gravity. That's simply it. When the solar system was forming, gravity was able to get billions of pieces of gas and dust and make them into clumps, which grew larger and larger to become planets. The force of the collision of the pieces caused the newly formed planets to become hot and molten. The force of gravity pulled this molten material inwards into the planet's center, into the shape of a sphere. Later, the planets cooled and stayed spherical. Of course, there are certain objects in our solar system which are still very big, but are not spherical. This is because they actually haven't hit a gravitational landmark of about 500 miles across. Once it gets to this point, it starts to actually pull in all directions, making it a sphere. So how do the planets orbit around the sun? Well, the solar system was formed from a rotating cloud of gas and dust which spun around a newly formed star, our sun, at the center. All of the planets formed from this spinning disk and continued this rotating motion around the sun after they were formed. The sun's gravity keeps the planets in their orbits. They stay in their orbits because there is no other force in the solar system which can stop them. So basically the planet's velocity is being matched by the sun's gravitational pull and therefore they are able to keep a stable orbit, constantly orbiting around the Sun. So where's the highest mountain in the solar system? Well you might be thinking it's planet Earth, that's the only place that has mountains, right? But the highest mountain and volcano in the solar system is actually on the planet Mars, and it's called Olympus Mons, and it's 16 miles high which makes it about three times higher than Mount Everest. In addition to being very tall, it is also very wide, being 340 miles across. Olympus Mons is also a very flat mountain, which slopes only two to five degrees. It is basically built from the erupting lava from the now extinct volcano. So which planet spins the fastest? Jupiter is the fastest spinning planet in the solar system, rotating once in just under 10 hours. That is very fast, especially how Jupiter is very large, which means that Jupiter has the shortest days of all the planets in the solar system. Since Jupiter is a gas giant, it doesn't actually rotate as a solid sphere. Jupiter's equator rotates a bit faster than its polar regions at the North and South Poles. Jupiter's day varies from 9 hours 56 minutes around the poles to 9 hours 50 minutes close to the equator. 
So what is the largest moon in the solar system? Well, the moon is called Ganymede, and it is one of Jupiter's moons. So the largest planet also has the largest moon. It has a diameter of 3,270 miles, and it is larger than the planet Mercury. It has a rocky core with a water ice mantle and a crust of rock and ice. Ganymede also has mountains, valleys, craters, and old lava flows, meaning that this probably once was an active moon. So which planet has the strongest winds? Well, this achievement lies with the farthest out planet, Neptune. The winds around Neptune are frozen methane, and they go across the planet at speeds more than 1,200 miles per hour. This is close to the top speed of a US Navy fighter jet. The most powerful winds on Earth can only reach about 250 miles per hour. So the hurricane warnings on Neptune must constantly be on alert. So I hope that's given you a good insight into a lot of things about the solar system. I hope you've learned a lot and I possibly will do a part two to this in the future. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, you can click subscribe. Thank you for watching.